right, this is the new Boston Whaler 210 Vantage. An incredibly nice boat, especially one that punches above its size based on Boston Whaler's uh, incredible build quality. You can see the uh, classic Boston Whaler steering wheel, digital dash, all the appropriate toggle switches, interior bathroom, which on a 21 is unique. Then moving forward into the bow area, which is very spacious for a 21. You can see it a lot up here. Incredible durability and construction on the materials as well. Of course, it's Boston Whaler. You would expect nothing less. So at the Boston Whaler Pavilion, this is definitely a big attraction, the new 210. If you're interested in the market, I would definitely reach out to Boston Whaler on this. This is a really nice boat. Coming towards uh, the stern of the boat, they have these innovative pop-up seats here, which you can fit a couple of additional people on. So there's one on the port, one on the starboard side as well. Really nice, comes with all the uh, uh, fishing rod holders in the gunnels as well across the back. Really nice boat. I was just talking to a guy that said he'd had it 30 miles offshore and he felt very comfortable with the ride quality. Great boat, we'll continue looking at Boston Whaler. All right, there's the 280 Vantage, 240 Vantage, and over here is the 320. Amazing boats. All right, this is the 320 Vantage. Absolutely amazing boat. It is definitely top of the line for the day boat class. Incredible comfort when going offshore. Maximum capabilities, comfort and ride, safety. This is absolutely that boat. I know we, we were looking at this boat before we bought the uh, 280 Vantage. We actually purchased one and uh, then we settled on the 280 after that. It was just too much for our setup, but uh, just amazing dual screens, joystick, the whole nine yards, amazing bathroom. And walking forward, you definitely feel the length of the boat in this uh, incredible bow area. Just a spectacular, spectacular boat to enjoy, especially if you're going offshore. We go to the Bahamas a lot, as you guys know, and this is one of those boats that gets you where you want to be um, in safety and comfort. I just made you stop it. Do you have a question? <laughs> There's power seats as well. Goes up and down. Full comfort. Enjoy. <laughs> And then you can turn this whole thing into an amazing bed. It's awesome. Love it. All right, guys, this is the 280 Vantage. As you know, this is our boat. We absolutely love it. Amazing, amazing boat. Hey, how are you? Hey, good, thanks. We have had a lot of good years on this boat in the water, taking it offshore, been to the Bahamas. It just keeps on delivering and we love it. It's always nice to see it in the most impeccably clean condition there is at a boat show. My favorite Makes you want to buy a new one, doesn't it? Oh, I think so. <laughs> Especially with you. Yeah? Oh, that's it right there. The best part about it. Yeah. The joystick, digital drive, it's amazing. No joystick, no boat for you. Yep, no joystick, no boat. No not, no. Got to have the joystick. If there's no joystick, not, not messing with it. Love this boat. Highly, highly recommend you see a dealer and talk to them about the 280 Vantage. It is an amazing boat that you feel unbelievably confident in offshore and on the lake. Legendary Boston Whaler construction. Just look at the thick steel here. The windows, just the structure around this boat is spectacular. 
If you've never been on one, do yourself a favor, get on a 280 Vantage or a 320 Vantage. If you need slightly larger, this will absolutely get you where you need to go safely. Love these boats. And right next door is the 240 Vantage, which is the slightly smaller sibling. It only has a, a single engine, so that means you can't get joystick, but still a very spectacular boat. So the 240, just slightly smaller, but still has all the Boston Whaler cues and styling, which are amazing. Hard top. So you never have to put the bimini up and down. Absolutely love it. Don't want to ever want to be without having that hard top. And because these are so structurally rigid, you can actually stand on top of them and they will support your weight and anybody else you want to put up there. Really, really amazing boats. Las, las de ayer, navegué junto. Era 42 pies. All right, this is a 350 Realm. Another amazing boat from Boston Whaler. Look how wide and big, massive this boat is. Triple 400s on the back. Wood accents throughout the boat. Beautiful craftsmanship. Grill, summer kitchen across the back. Uh-oh. Muriel's saying, oh wow, that means I'm in trouble. This is what we need. That means I'm in trouble. We can be together here. Yep. That means I have to open my checkbook. Isn't exactly. that what it means? Exactly. Oh my gosh. I need to be here. I need to be here. So. Yes. Perfect. See? And now I just, I just ended up buying a bigger boat. Look at that. We can be both captains. Yes. No, it's amazing. I, I do like that side by side, especially if you love your wife like I do. You know, you want her to be right there with you. Yes, Yay. it's our surprise for today, an all new whaler. <laughs> Refrigerator over here, large dual screens, joystick, just beautiful wood craftsmanship. Really, really nice. And then heading down, full size bathroom. And then seating area with TV, large and deep, very, very comfortable for a day on the water. Or if you have storms and you want to get out of the weather, you could definitely have an enjoyable time down there. Heading forward to the bow. I love this layout. Nice big sun pad. Comfortable seating for three across. And then a little bow area for the kids. Ours just love to sit here, hold on the rails and stand up and, or be, actually not stand up, but be on their knees and feel the wind in their face. Or just chill. Or just area. chill in this area, yep. Very, very nice. Love it. All right, 350 Realm, an amazing boat. Moving on. All right, this is the 405 Conquest. 3600? 40 feet long, 1,800 horsepower, 620 gallons worth of fuel. Big, big boat. Triple 600s across the back. Amazing new engines in and of themselves. The engines do not move. The pods on the bottom actually rotate, providing the maximum amount of versatility as you go through the water and maneuver the boat. Here you can see plenty of walkway across the back. Large entryway area for fishing. This is about five to six feet across. Really, really large. And for those of you that saw the St. Augustine video, one of our friends, Paul, this was a new boat that he had purchased at that point in time. So you see a little bit of us sitting there in St. Augustine on a similar boat. This is that boat. Amazing boat, just crushes the waves. Nice sitting area, top cabin. Um, it's mainly, it's gonna be by hours, just like, just like any engine. Um, I don't know what their intervals really are. 
Where does this thing increase? Joystick on the left and the right side. You're definitely going to cruise somewhere in the low to mid 30s. You can get up in the high 50s. Forward cabin. Right conditions. We've had it in the low 60s with the 600s. Heading downstairs. Got a nice seating area here. Yeah. That folds out into a larger table. Now we can sit comfortably. <laughs> There's the uh, master cabin up front. The bed's a little tight. Looks like a single. <laughs> Yep, looks like a single. Your kitchen area here. And then another berth right below the helm area. Well, this looks uh, yeah, like a double actually. You could easily fit two people in there. Yeah, it looks bigger, but it's actually pretty small. But still amazing. Appointments, closets. And then there's your bathroom right there. The good thing about this is that, that you can help me a lot because yes. we can keep together. So. That's right. Yep. It keeps you very close to your wife. If you had a different setup in the back, the stove would actually be behind this seat. All right. So this boat with triple sixes cruises in the mid thirties. Very nice boat. We'll run you in the 1.3 to 1.7 range, depending on options. Impressive engines. All right, here is the classic Montauk. Boston Whalers known for this boat. Been around for ages, is absolutely spectacular. It's a nice, nice boat to run around do some lake fishing, just get on the water and have a great time. This one's powered with a 115. It's a beautiful boat, five year warranty, run forever. 20 years from now, you still have the Montauk. Very, very comfortable and amazing boat. All right, this is the all new Boston Whaler 365 Conquest. There's your price point. 36 feet long, holds 14, 410 gallons, 1200 horsepower. It's got twin 600s on the back. Amazing boat. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of people on there. Mm -hmm. This one comes with the upper station. Beautiful lines down the side, very similar to the 405 Conquest. Open side glass. Then you can see the uh, cushions on the front bow here that makes a nice sun deck. Radar, spotlights, the whole nine yards. Beautiful boat. Obviously, first and foremost. Uh, and how often that's going to be? It's a very similar feel to the 405 Conquest. Obviously, just a little bit smaller dimensions. The Hilton. You know, when you play craps at night or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Rear sunshade, controls on the top for the fishing deck, and then access down the sides. Amazing boat. And then electric grill in the back, cleaning stations. All right, then walking forward. Great seating area, all under cover. Unfortunately, no dual joystick on the port side. 
large screens though. Beautiful colors and craftsmanship. And then just a simple seating area down below. Feel very safe on the water in this though. The owner's club lounge. Awesome, thank you. All right. The perks of owning a Boston Whaler at the Owner's Club? Come on. Love it. All right, look at this. White glove treatment up here. Love it. Wow, and hats? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, okay. Actually, just trade me. Just trade me. Yeah, just trade me. I'll take that. Yeah, really? it's wonderful. I want to match with you. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, you want to match with me? Yeah. Oh, so okay. Why, why like Sorry, ma'am. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes. Love it. It's beautiful. Yes. Go get your photos, right? Yeah. There we go. First class service. Oh, my God. This is all about being a Boston Whaler customer, you see? This is why you're a Boston Whaler customer right here. Nothing like it. That's right. The full treatment. Okay, we are finishing up our time here at the Miami Boat Show. It's been an amazing day. We saw a lot of amazing boats. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me what do you like or what do you see? Because your expectation was something when we start. So yes. now that you yes. enjoy and you see everything, how you feel about that? Well, I would definitely say the Miami Boat Show is something that you need to experience. There is practically everything here for everybody, every manufacturer, every conceivable engine technology, and people bringing new things to the show to show their innovation. I think one of the coolest things I saw today was the hydrogen engine from Yamaha. Mm -hmm. Really, really neat technology. I don't think it's feasible yet but just the fact that that's even being discussed is amazing. And I think maybe someday we'll be able to ride on the water and the water is the actual fuel for the boat at the same time. How spectacular mm -hmm. would that be? Unlimited range and enjoyment. So. And a lot of money safe on gas, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget Especially about that. Especially at $4, $5 a gallon, maybe even six or seven when you're in the Bahamas, so. But I think today we saw some amazing boats, uh, definitely from Boston Whaler. Sea Ray had a really strong showing. And of course, Chris Craft is always, always beautiful. The quality of the construction is just absolutely amazing. So, has been has was my first time like mm -hmm. being in a boat shot with someone like really know a lot about boats and love boats like you. Oh yes. Because I was like, okay, I didn't know about this. So what is this? I was learning really a lot because you love boat. That is your passion about. So mm -hmm. I used to know oh, what is this is pretty. I like this, but you really know all the you know, what is yes. behind that and what is safe and what is better. So I, I, yeah. I learn a lot. Boats you want to be on the water in and definitely in rough seas. And then those boats that really should never leave a lake. So it's best <laughs> to know what you're buying. So always do your yes. research before you purchase a boat. Know exactly what your use is. Otherwise, you're going to pay too much for features you don't need. Um, or if you want to go offshore and you didn't get the proper boat, then you're going to be in trouble. And you're going to oh, find that out really otherwise fast. Otherwise, it's going to be scary and then say, no, I don't feel safe. I don't want to travel anymore. So yes. in that case, if you buy a, a strong boat, like for example, the Boston Whaler, we love that. Yes. It's because we like to go to Bahamas, different place, and it's really, you feel really good and safe you know, and protected safe. no matter what comes up and storms always happen. So. Anyway, we had a wonderful time. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.